Hi, my name is Kathleen and I'm the director of Lady E's Wedding Revenge Plan. Lady E's Wedding Revenge Plan is about a young girl who tries to stop her sister's wedding in an attempt to keep things the way they are. I think the idea mostly stemmed from my childhood because I spent a lot of time with my sister. Everywhere she went, I was always following her. Everything she did, I was always following suit. And I think this film is a way to honour the time that I spent with her as a kid and as well as also honouring the time after when things, things started to change and I started to grow up and face like different problems in my life. Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm the director of Hemprint. Hemprint is a story about a bereaved mother who visits children who require special care as the reminder of a daughter. So my team and I were really curious about hospice care and we contacted Hospice Care Association and they introduced us to Madam Primus and after hearing her incredible backstory, we were actually compelled to tell it. Through making this film, I learned that there's so much more between a caregiver and a patient. During these weekly visits, actually bonds and relationships are actually formed and there's always something deeper. I felt like making this film was our way of volunteering as filmmakers. We are not trained to administer care to these patients and telling the story was the least we could do to help spread the message. We actually managed to look deeper into how volunteerism really works and uh, it's really different compared to what you normally see on the television or on YouTube because it's a very intimate process. We're dealing with um, children and elderly that have different conditions and these are very uh, important for the volunteers themselves. Through the film, we are actually honouring Madame Paramès and her daughter who has actually given her, her a lot of um, inspiration to actually push forward and to become a Mediminder herself. Hi, my name is Lionel. I'm the director of Tomorrow. Tomorrow is a film about a mother who is undergoing a potentially life-threatening surgery and how the three generations of women in the family grapple and deal with the uncertainty of what tomorrow holds. The short film is inspired by my aunt who had to go through a similar life-threatening operation. I witnessed this moment when the visiting hours were going to be over. My grandma was sad, crying and my, my mother and all their family members had that feeling of uncertainty that they had to grapple with. In, in typical Asian uh, family, right? we tend to repress our emotions a lot and we don't really show affection and love to, to our family members that much. And this film are the words that I can never say to my mother. This film is just a message to her. I think firstly, the film is honouring love and family. And most importantly, I think it's honouring today with your loved ones and cherish today because we do not know what tomorrow will, will hold. I'm Shalin, the producer of the film Ama Flippa Ball. Ama Flipper Ball is a documentary following three elderly women who are part of Singapore's first grandma-only water polo team. The idea for the film came to me when I saw a photo of these Amas playing flipper ball in a photo exhibition last year. I remember it being so striking, I had to go and check it out with my eyes. And after that, I decided to tell my team and we decided to tell the story in a bigger way. Beyond the bonds made between the cast and crew and those aha, we got the shot moments, I think what's most rewarding about making this film is knowing that our film is part of a bigger cause to honour these amas and also inspire audiences young and old to have a healthy lifestyle and also active ageing. I think one of the most rewarding things about this film is the relationship that we've made between the cast and the crew. Prior to filming, it actually took us a lot to persuade them and we had to go down like a month before we started shooting just to get them to agree to doing the interview because I think they were a little sceptical and we, we just kept going, you know, those with afternoon classes we'll go down in the morning because they normally start their day really early so we'll eat breakfast with them, we will um, go to the market with them and from there we really built a good rapport even till today I think we share a really good relationship and I'm proud to say that I'm actually one of their goddaughters now. I'm just so grateful to everyone who helped us along the way, be it like my crew or lecturers or even Honor Singapore who was willing to fund us for this film and even give us this opportunity to screen it. I don't think I'll ever have an opportunity to screen my film ever. So I'm looking forward on, for November 1st. Hi, my name is Jeevan. I'm the producer and director of Horror World. Horror World is a, is a film about my mom's journey back to her father's hometown in India. For my mom, she was born in India. There's this notion of not being able to know what and where and how she grew up. My mom is a patriotic Singaporean. She 
took part in 15 different national day parades. Her siblings do do tease her from, from time to time, like, hey, you're not, you're not Singaporean. The biggest challenge I face to bring my mom to India physically, she has to go through dialysis three times a week. If the maximum she can miss is only one. Can I even find a, a dialysis centre there? Is there a hospital? Is it clean? Is there one in the village? How far is it? These are all the major changes. Going on this trip, being in the space, breathing the air, seeing the land, seeing the whole India in general, it did close the, the, the chapter for my mom so that she can actually move on to the next. I think through making this film, I've gained a lot of new perspective of how to be honest with myself and honest with my writing. During the writing process, I was very hesitant to be honest with myself because most of the film has a lot of personal thoughts that I took from my own personal journal. Once I was more honest with myself and my feelings, the writing showed that and I started to let go and the film is what it is today. One of the most rewarding things was working with my actress who is still in secondary school so she's actually the same screen age as the character Eloise herself. After the shoot, she came up to me and said like, oh, what you wrote really spoke to me and I'm going through all of that as a, as a teenager now. And I was glad that my thoughts during that age could actually speak to someone who is that age now and helped her grow as a person. I'd like to say something to the youth of today, those people going through trying times and difficult times. I hope this film will speak to you in times of difficulties and knowing that what you're going through now will always come to an end. And as you grow up, you will look back to things and be thankful that it happened because it makes you who you are. Honour to me means to uphold a person of great respect for the duties that they actually carry on their shoulder and the responsibilities that they have. Honour to me means being honest and true to yourself first. Only when we can do that, when we are honest and true to ourselves, then we'll be able to be honest and true to other people and honour other people. Everyone has a story and everyone can be honoured if we were to look at things from their perspective and see what truly makes them different and um, inspiring to different individuals. And I think the greatest part about honour is that it comes from the simplest of things, such as your everyday life. Honour to me is not so much as placing someone high on a pedestal. It's more of the act of showing gratitude and appreciating what they do by highlighting it. To me, honour means showing admiration or respect to those who are pursuing the extraordinary and also changing the norms. Honour to me means sharing light on someone who actually make a significant difference in one's life, which is what, what my mom did for me. Making this film, bringing her on, on this journey back, seeing her smile, that really brings me a very big honour. I feel like I'm really thankful for what Honour Singapore is doing because a lot of young filmmakers in Singapore now um, don't get a chance for their film to be seen. A lot of effort in, is put into making our film and almost every time it's like just stored in a hard drive somewhere which is I feel is like really sad. I'm thankful for what Honour Singapore is doing and I hope there will be more organisations like that for young upcoming filmmakers to showcase their work.